Chris Morell, joined by my co-anchor Eddie Fisher. We're bringing to you uh, the Haddonfield boys basketball boys baseball game against Sterling Knights. Sterling Haddonfield is 11 and 5 on the season. They're in the playoffs. They play Friday against Audubon, and Sterling Sterling played their playoff game yesterday, but sadly lost to uh, Woodstown. I think it was in a thrilling game. Bottom of the seventh, they lost. What do you think the outcome of this game is going to be today, Ed? Uh, I, th I think we'll win. I think we'll win a close one. Yeah, Kevin Walsh on the hill today. He's a big, tall guy. He's probably going to bring the heat. That was a sad game yesterday. It was real tough on the seniors. Yeah, real tough. Last season here, losing the playoffs. They were up 9-3 to three in the last inning and let up eight runs. It's just not Sterling baseball. I think they'll come back at it tonight. Let's hope so. I'd like to see a good Sterling victory. They are still playing for the division now. Yes, they are. It's uh, Haddonfield, Sterling, and Haddon Heights all tied up for the division. This is a very important game today. Sterling wins this. I think they'll get the division. Probably get jackets. That'd be very nice. Yeah. Here's a uh, number 11, Alex Ospai. He will be playing third base today. Kevin Walsh with the first pitch. That's high for ball one. Counts 1 0 to Alex. Second pitch a little low. Counts 2 0 now. Now ball 3 now. Counts now 3 0 to Alex. Kevin looking to just throw the ball across the plate. Hopefully gets out to ground out, pop out. There you go. Strike one. Counts three and one. to shortstop T.J. Myers. Oh. Bob Myers. Ooh, sorry about that. Bob Applegate couldn't handle that one just off the tip of his glove. A little wide, right? It's one man on. No outs and top of the first inning. Brings up number 20, Kevin Davis. Kevin Walsh with the move to first. Alex gets back there in time. Kevin just trying to keep the runner on. Yeah. Umpire calls time. Umpire wants players to be inside the dugout at all times. Don't want anyone getting hit. I mean. No one from Sterling's side, at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Runner looked like he was stealing there. Yeah. Fooled me. Vern needs to throw it back real quick one time. Vern will get you. He'll get you sleeping. Vern will get you. Ball high. Counts now one and one. Yeah. Kevin Davis is the right fielder out of Haddonfield. Oh, oh, oh. 
steps out of Bears Bar. He's in Justice Block. There goes the runner. Vern threw a nice throw, but that was a pretty fast kid there. Yeah. Very nice jump. Strike three. That's one out now. Kevin Walsh strikes out the first batter. Brings up number 27, Kevin Chris Davis, brother of Kevin. I believe they played basketball together. Yeah, we announced that game yeah. together. Some brotherly love. <laughs> Chris Davis is the shortstop. Looks like Kevin Walsh found his target. Had to get warmed up a little bit. He's bringing the heat now. Last time uh, Sterling played at Haddonfield, Kevin, Chris Davis delivered a crushing blow, a walk-off home run. Wow. Ball's low. Counts one and one. Man on second, one out in the top of the first inning. Very nice pitch by Kevin. Yeah, it looked like a curveball. <laughs> Counts one and two to Chris Davis. Give him anything to hit. Puts it in. Oh, foul ball. Lou Camisa hustling over there. Count still one and two. Chris Davis has a 458 batting average on the season. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. That is what you call amazing. Eight home runs leading the team in that category. Kevin takes a step off, keeping the runner on. Oh. oh, that's Vern's arm for you. Two outs now on the, on the top of the first. Brings up number 22, John Walter. No need to worry about that runner on second now. Just get this last down, now we're up. Exactly. John Walter is the pitcher today for Hanfield. He's been clean up in the lineup. Oh, Ooh, oh, got him, get got him sleeping. Oh, Ooh. high throw. Might have had him on that one. Vern with a very good stop in the dirt there. Yeah. Stopped the runner from advancing. Counts 1-0 and oh to John Walter. A little high. Counts two and zero. Oh. All Kevin has to do is throw it across the plate. Fielders will do the work for you. Kev steps off. Check the runner. Strike one. Counts two and one. Got to get this batter out. You got to keep his arm fresh. Be nice to get him out right here. Kevin has two strikeouts already in this inning. Looking for his third. Strike two. Hopefully he gets it right here. Come on, help yourself. Let's go, Johnny. 
Kev tries to get him with a, I don't even know what that was, maybe a two seam, might have been a two seam fastball. Ball in the dirt. Nice scoop by Vern Leeds, senior on this team. Senior leadership, that's what it's all about. For most part, seniors had a very good season this year. I agree. Baldino, McElroy, Luca Missa, uh, Rob Gullo, Shane Hall. They will be missed next year. Two men on here for Tom Gorgano. Top of the first, two outs. Pop straight up. Looks like Bob Applegate's under it. That's a good catch. It retires the batters. Looking for Mike Baldino to start off good in this game with base hit. Strike one across. Counts on one to Mike Baldino. Pop straight up. Play, and I can't see it. I don't want to get hit. Yeah. In the lacrosse field. Came close. Counts 0 and 2 now to Mike. Looking to stay alive here. He's got to fight back. Anything close. That's exactly what he did in strike three. Next up is TJ Myers. Batting 294. Sorry about that. It's, it's Mike Coy. <laughs> Why does it say TJ Myers? Oh, uh, that's I don't know what that is. This is the batting lineup. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mike Coyne's batting 400. Sure one, one triple and eight RBIs. Uh, Takes the first Mike. pitch. That's a strike. Mike Coyne's batting 400. Yep. Hey, Mike, hey, Mike. Oh, two now to Mike Coyne. Got to protect here. Bad boy, my bad boy. Very close pitch. It was a very good eye by Mike. Counts now one and two. Oh, uh, one, one, one. One, two. one out in the bottom of the first. Here's the pitch. Oh. High. Bad boy, Mike. Nice job, kid. Try to throw a curveball in there. Yeah. Didn't follow through with it, so stayed high. Counts two and two to Mike. Puts it in play right back to top the pitcher. Over the first, second out of the inning. Brings up Bob Applegate. Bob's batting 294 on the season with four doubles, six home runs, and 22 RBIs. Leads the team with home runs. Six of them. Very good for the junior. He'll be back next year. A lot of the Sterling lineups coming back. Pretty young. Yeah. First pitch. Oh. Tipped it. It's one strike. That's what I realized a lot about Bob. He likes the first pitch. Yeah. And the second. Yes. <laughs> Counts 0 and 2 now to Bob. Blows it by him. Strike yeah. three. Pitcher really brought heat to Bob Applegate. Guess he uh, did some research. It's the second strike out of the inning. Stalling goes down. 1, 2, 3. And we'll be back. Let's 
might be a curveball coming here. Nope. Thought I saw two on Burns' fingers, but I didn't. Good pitch by Kevin Walsh there. Counts 0-1. Way to start the hitter off with a strike. Yes, sir. There's that curveball. A little high. Counts one and one to number 26. Second pitch in the dirt. Counts two and one now. Out against the gate. Counts two and two now. Kevin looking to finish him off with this next pitch. It's a two two pitch. Curveball a little high. Counts now three and two. He's got to follow through with his curveball. He's releasing it too high. <laughs> Counts all full. No outs. Yep. Ball four. High and outside. Kevin Walsh walks his second batter of the day. Brings up number 10, Andrew Spinelli. <laughs> Made on first, no outs. First pitch is a strike. Second pitch is a ball. Counts one and one. That was another curveball. He's got Start, a, starting to get it down there, though. He's getting it. It's a small batter than the last one. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, foul ball off to the right. They better watch himself. Counts now two and two, I believe, or one and two. One and two. Strike three. Brings hot cheese. It's Kevin's third strikeout on the day. Brings up number four, Mike Hagner. Mike Hagner is playing left field today. His batting, his batting average is 302. Fell back behind the plate. It's one strike. Runner at first isn't taking that big of a lead at all. No need to worry about him. Very nice block there by Vernon Leeds. He's pretty good at that. Yes. I've been playing with Vern since I was four years old. He's been catching forever. Very good ball player. Counts yes. one and one to Hag Hagner. Puts it in play to the shortstop TJ Myers looking to turn two. two. Oh. Runner does a very nice job of knocking that out. It's a smart play. Yes. We got two, we got two. That's two outs in the inning. Brings up number 12, Tim 
Donalon. Can't pronounce his last name, but it's all right. He's from Haddonfield. Donalon. He's batting in the DH today. Vern and Kevin, I mean, Vern and Kevin talking it over on the hill. Probably just talking about his bottom in the order. Put it over the plate and let the let them fielders do the job. You don't want to let up a hit to the ninth batter in the lineup. Bring around the beginning. Comes the first pitch. It's over there for a strike. Counts own one now. Ball one, counts one and one. Ball was a very good pitch. Ooh, strike two. Kevin looking to get his fourth strikeout right here. Only in the second inning. Feeling a curveball right here. What do you, what do you feel? I think so. He's ahead of the pitch. He's ahead of the batter. Probably try to get him chasing something. I'm not too sure what it was. Here we go. Short go to work. Hot I'm out. Counts now two and two. Ball high, three and two, full count now. Kevin doesn't want to walk in. Ninth batter. Put it across. Fielders will do the rest. Run our first goes. Strike three. It's the end of the top of the second. We'll be back. Comes the first pitch to Pat. Ball high. One and out. Pat's a small batter. He might work a walk right here. Ball too high. Pop up, straight back out of play. Counts now, two and one to Pat. A little outside there, there's a nice eye by Matt, Pat. Counts three, three and one. Try to work some base runners right here. I would just take a pitch right here. There you go. Yep, there you go. Pat works a walk now. Brings up big Lou Camissa. Camissa's batting 267 on the season. With three doubles and one home run, 10 RBIs. This guy gets a hold of the ball. It's, it's going over the school. Oh, uh, yeah. Might go over Triton, too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, right fielder can't make a play on it. Oh, we say Big Lou. That's Lou's first hit of the game. And now bring up Rob Gullo, number 14. Or not. I'm not good with names. It's TJ Myers, number 14. TJ's playing shortstop batting, 294, three doubles, one triple, and 12 RBIs. Looking to add to those RBIs right here. Lou with a big lead off first. Oh, tries to get the bump down. It's fouled out of play. Trying to play some small ball, advance the runners. 
No outs here in the bottom of the second. Go, Wolf, Wolf, Wolf. Oh, one count to TJ now. Okay. Ball one high. Burn leads is on deck. Hey, Feeling a good inning right here from Sterling. I am too. No outs, two men on already. Feeling three runs. Nice cut on the ball. Just a little too uh Got to straighten that out. Late time. Coach. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Counts now one and two to TJ Myers. Pat McElroy on second, Luke Mitchell on first. Foul out of play. Stay in his own, no stay in his own. Staying like alive there. Stay aggressive, let's go. Count still one and two. It's TJ. Oh, let's go, one four, let's go, kid. Go, kid, it, kid. Oh, curveball in the dirt. Counts two and two. Runners stay where they are. No sense to get caught in now. No outs. We're in good position right now. No dumb mistakes. Just painted the outside corner there. It's, it's Walter's third strikeout of the game. Leads up at the bat with one out. Main on first and second. In the bottom of the second. Burn, one of the couple leaders on the team. Takes ball one high. Burn's batting average is 229 on the season with one double and seven RBIs. Takes a big cut at the second pitch. This is it. One and one's the count. Counts now one and two to Vern. One and two to Leeds. One out. Got to protect the play right here. Anything close. He'll stay alive. There he goes. Counts one and two to Vern Leeds here. Ball two in the dirt, so third down the second. He's definitely safe, though. Oh, my God. I don't know what he was looking at. Yeah, he was safe. I'd like to see a replay of that, Mr. K. The second out of the inning. Two two count now. Vernon leads. Ball three. A little low. Tried to get him with the curveball. Full count. Hold your spot, plays 
popped up, staying alive there. Got a full count here. Two outs. Bottom of the second. Blue commission on, on first. Full count, two outs will probably, Lou will probably be off running. Luca Missa takes off. Doesn't matter, he's out. Apparently, it strikes out. And that's the end of the second. We'll be back. Brings up number 11, Alex Ospai. Top of the order now. First pitch, puts it in play just over Walsh. Calroy gets it. Good play oh. on that Oh, safe. Safe at first base. Runner beat it out. It was a nice play, though. Good attempt. First hit of the game. And now he's got it up the middle. Brings up number 20, Kevin Davis. Kevin Davis struck out his first time at bat. Walsh looking to do the same thing. Uh, Kevin shows bunt, runners off. Runner got a great jump there. No outs, man on second. Kevin Davis is up. He might just lay down the bunt now, advance the runner to third. They want to play some small ball, get a run across. Balls text to runner back. Inside. A little inside there. Want to know. Ball counts now. Two and one. Two and one. Burnley setting up outside. Oh, little curveball. No. Goes foul. Luca Missile let that roll foul, I think. It was a smart play. Counts one and two. Sorry about that. Strike. That's a smart play by Vern not to go right to first base. He knew. What we got, what we got, what? Ball in the dirt. You have to tag the runner or throw to first. Man on second. He almost advanced to third. Vern checked him back. Brings up number 27, Chris Davis. Ball one. Good go. <laughs> one oh pitch here. Kevin Walsh looking to do some work this inning. Ball high. Ball high. Brings the count to two now. Strike one there. Took a big cut. Couldn't catch up to the heat of Kevin Walsh. Counts two and one. Ball high. Three and one to number 27. Foul tip, that's a strike. Full count here. 
one out in the top of the third, man on second. Walsh looking to put Davis away. Ooh, gets him swinging. That's Davis' second strikeout of the game. Walsh's fifth. Two outs now in the top of the third. That'll bring up number 22, John Walter. Walter's the pitcher today. Reached on uh, base on balls last at bat. Ground the second base, fielding nicely. It's the third out of the inning. Get out of a little trouble there. Potential runs there. Be more conservative. We might have one or two runs on the board right now. Eddie, you sound like a sportscaster, dog. Ball one, high. You ever seen? You ever watch White Sox baseball? Strike two. Ball high. Counts now two and one. We have a brother, a pair of brothers on our team too, as well as Haddonfield. Not only brothers, they are twins. Oh, identical. That is and true. That. Get them confused myself a lot. Strike two. I just call them both opposite names so they get mad. Hey, Pat, I'm Ryan. 2-2 <laughs> count now, Pat McElroy. Swings at strike three. Probably see him go down swinging and go down looking. It's one out in the inning. Up now, pitcher Kevin Walsh. Kevin's pitching a gem today. It's five strikeouts. He's only let up one hit. Well, spatting 250 in the season. Is two doubles and two home runs. 12 RBIs. First pitch across there for a strike to Kevin Walsh. John Walter has five strikeouts as well. Kevin ropes the second pitch. That's a single. Helping his cause. That'll bring up the top of the order, Mike Baldino. We're going to take another look at uh, that nice little hit right there. Here it is. Ropes it in the center field. Nice piece of contact. Nice piece of contact. See what we can do here now. One out in the third inning. We got a courtesy runner right here for pitcher Kevin Walsh. Said number one, Robbie Gullo. There he goes. Rob's got some speed. I wouldn't. I'd be watching out for a little steal here. If I was Haddonfield, I'd be scared. <laughs> I don't think he needs it. See, I think Baldino's going to rope one in the right field. Right now. Oh, Rob gets back in time. Plenty of time. Mike Baldino struck out his first at bat. Went down swinging. Oh. Oh. I don't know about that. It's, uh, I think he was out. Might have been. That's the first down of the inning. Again, mental errors. Yes. Outside. Ball one. Counts now one and one to Mike Baldino. Looking to get his first hit of the game. And Sterling's third hit. Ball two. Down and all the way. So cross play for strike two. Counts now two and two. Two outs in the inning. That was a little, a little outside. That was a very good eye by Mike Coyne. Oh, Mike Baldina. Sorry about that. 
Mike, Mike coins on deck. Yeah. Getting eager. <laughs> Ball three. Baldino works a walk there. Baldino's got some wheels, but I wouldn't want to see another mental error by the Sterling Knights. Well, now's the time to do it. Two outs. Be aggressive. I agree. Tie game. Bottom of the third. Got to do something to put some runs across the board. Brings up Mike Coyne. Grounded out his last to bat. Right back up to the pitcher. Mike Baldino with a good lead off first. Coyne takes the first pitch. I like to see that. Let the pitcher throw his first strike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. We say coin. Come on, one, three. Come on, one, three. Counts. 0-1. Oh, right. Made a move towards Baldino. He's in there. Mike Coyne batting 400. Hey, one, three. Very nice. Mike. He's also got a triple in the season. Oh. Fouls out of play. Visitor dugout. Counts now 0-2. Oh, Need some base runners on for Bob Applegate. Something can happen. Hopefully, Coin gets a hit here. Just two outs. Walk, hit, doesn't matter. Ball, up. Ball one outside. Counts now one and two. Two outs, bottom of the third. Score is still 0 0. There goes Mike Baldino. Oh, strike three. Ball was a little high there. We got uh, right here number 25, John Walter. Oh, wait, no. 25, Tom Gorgano. Solid 347. It's a pretty good batter. He's catching for the Bulldogs. Disappointing loss yesterday, huh? Oh, yeah. Six run lead in the bottom inning. Can't, can't hold on, huh? Just weren't playing Sterling baseball in that last inning. That one gets away from pitcher Kevin Walsh there. Counts now 2 0. Walsh with the third pitch low. Counts now 3 0. No outs, no runs at the top of the fourth inning. Ball four low, walks the first batter. Can't, can't walk the first batter of the inning on four, four straight balls. Just lack of focus there. Number nine, number nine, coach. Number nine has come in to uh, run for Haddonfield catcher, Ben Uden. It's a unique name. It's the fifth straight ball. Counts now 1 0 to Ryan Goodwin. Right, um, Kevin comes set here. It's a uh, looks like a fastball. Uh, pretty good. Um, it's a little in, but uh, Kevin, it's it's hard for Kevin to. Uh, I know, especially pitching on this mound. This mound is very really low, um, and it's always harder to throw downhill when you're on a low mound. Uh, a big thing that pitchers use. Uh, is the, the height of the mound and they can drive the ball down you get a lot more velocity and a lot more movement so Kev, Kev's doing well with what he's got right now so we'll see if he can there's a good pitch from Kevin there he goes try to battle back here counts now 2-1 and one. Bob, Bob, 
popped up. Foul territory. Bob Applegate's under it. It's the first out of the inning. Brings up number 10, Andrew Spinelli. First pitch a little high. Counts L1 now to Spinelli. It's broke in the center field. That's in the gap. That may score the runner from first. It's coming in. Stand up double for Spinelli right there. Brings across the first run of the game. It's good base running. It's going from first to third there, too. Oh, yeah. First. Comes to replay that. Comes to look here. That was a good piece of hitting. Stayed back on it. Very nice hit. Brings up number four, Mike Hagner. Hagner's 0 for 1 so far in this game. It's been uh, 3 2 on the air. Counts now one and one to Hagner. One out. Top of the fourth. So ball in the dirt. Nice scoop by Vern Leeds there. Somebody just threw one back in. Is that the end of the dugout in the grass? Yeah, right, it's right, right, somebody threw it right through the opening right there. Looking for a ball, someone threw back in play. Nice, coach. Good work. Nothing up, nothing down. Let's go, now, let's go. Let's go, let's go. 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 let us go Rope from Vern Leeds there. Good pitch from Kevin there. Yeah. Counts now two and two. Looking to get his sixth strikeout on the day. I move inside on this guy here. Agner fouls it off. This count's still two and two. That was another pitch off, staying alive. Counts two and two still. Kevin Walsh looking to finish this guy off. Staying alive is a long at bat here. Hey, 
Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Kid at second's got a healthy lead. Yeah, he's, he's getting pretty far down the baseline. Ah! Got to be careful with TJ at the bag. I might be able to put one through the hole. Oh, hit the center. Baldino. He's under. He's got it. Runner's tagging up. He's in there safe. Good play by Mike there. It's two outs in the inning. Brings up Tim. Donalon. Hmm. That's a strange name. What a nice ring. First pitch, strike across the plate. Puts it in play. Oh, nice play by K TJ. Gets a third out of the inning right there. So we're headed to the top of the bottom of the fourth. <laughs> This is the first pitch to Algate. Takes the first pitch this time. <coughs> Counts 1 0. Ropes one in the right field. That's foul. Very interesting that they're uh, Haddonfield's pitching this kid. He's their ace, and they have a playoff game on Friday. Yep, it's against uh, Audubon. So this counts towards inning towards this week, and he's going to come back on less rest. It's not a smart move. Counts now one and two. A little outside there. Two and two count. Good eye again. Good, good two two pitch out there. This kid's bringing the heat today. That he is. It's popped up. Bob's staying alive now. Full count. No outs. In the bottom of the fourth inning. Ooh. Likes that high one. Chases it. Strike three. Alvigate's second strikeout on the day. Brings up Pat McElroy. Reached on walks last at bat. So, this, who's this? John Walter has six strikeouts on the day. Oh, Kelroy rips one. Does it drop? Yes, it does. Brings up big Luke Missa. Got a base hit his first time up. Shot one over the right fielder's head. First pitch is in the dirt. Counts one and now. Oh, 
Well, we got a little time here. Uh, Want to tell everyone out there how you've been doing this year, Colin, of uh, Seton Hall playing some baseball? Yeah, I did pretty well. Um, I did pretty well. There's a lot of big difference in my playing days here. But, yeah. Um, no, it was fun. Got to travel a lot. Went to a lot of good schools, Notre Dame, UNC. So we got to travel all over. The, uh, the team missed making the Big East Championship by one game, so it's a pretty good season. It's great, it's great to hear from someone around here doing something big. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good to be doing it. Yeah. Counts now one and two to Lou Camissa. Um, <clears throat> I think my favorite school to visit this year the nicest field uh, we played on was this past weekend at Cincinnati. Um, their stadium sat about 3,000 people. And um, our, our Friday night game, we played in about, I guess there were about 2,000 people there. Um, that, was, that was pretty neat. That was like a, it reminded me of like playing a, like a River Sharks game. So you're pitching and you're scared to death when you go out there. But, yeah. <laughs> um, I actually got to play at UNC's new ballpark. It cost, uh, I think it cost like $18 million Ooh, for a college ballpark. And, um, you know, they had heated dugouts. Um, they had a uh, nice hit here by Lou. Getting over the head. Nope. Um, Second out of the inning. Yeah. Um, I, knew a, I knew the catcher on the team there, and um, he gave me a tour of the whole facility. They had a player's lounge with a 60-inch plasma screen, wraparound leather couches, um, a custom pool table donated by Michael Jordan in the players' lounge. It was unbelievable. Um, they had a Gatorade um, protein bar in the stadium. Um, they had batting cages in the stadium. It was just unbelievable. So that was, but uh, I think my favorite campus uh, was Notre Dame. Just see, it's like an atmosphere there. You just, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very neat there. Touchdown Jesus and all that stuff, so. It was, it was pretty cool this year. It was it's really, fun. really neat experience. Yeah, just the traveling alone rather than playing. Playing aside, you, you learn a lot more, which is pretty neat. Counts one and one to uh, TJ Myers, struck out his first at bat. Oh. Wrote one over to shortstop's head, it falls in. Ryan advances. TJ advances to second. It's in there with a double. Two outs brings up Vernon Leeds. Got to make him pay for a two out hit there. Hopefully Vern can get a little base knock here. Like to see something tie this game up. One run just may be the difference. So, how do you feel about Sterling's new uniforms? Uh, yeah. All right, all right. A little, little bland. Yeah. It's better than sleeveless. Yeah, yes. Balls, gang, balls. I think they get uh, new uniforms every year. I'm not sure. I think it's every four. Is it? Yeah, because when I came in as a freshman, they got new uniforms and they got them this year. So. Counts now 2-1, two, two outs, Vernon leads. Got to look for something to drive here. Ball three outside counts three and one. It's a long inning for John Walter here. Been on the hill for a good amount of time. They have someone in the bullpen over there. He's been warming up since the beginning of the inning. Oh. Popped up to second base. Catches it for the third out of the inning. Sterling puts on a threat, but Haddonfield invades it. Have him, uh, Come in the booth, do some announcing. Yeah, definitely. 
number 11, Tim. Oops. Wait a second. Alex Ospai, top of the order. Ooh. First pitch is really high there. How did it feel good on the board, Chris? Uh, they had a double to lead off. No, they had a man who got on with a walk, got on second, and then the double scored him in. Sterling put on the threat last inning, but Haddonfield got out of it with a pop up to second base. That's his thing. Sterling gets men on. They got to take, take advantage of that. Yes, definitely. Ball outside. Counts now two and one. Ball in the dirt, 3-1 count now. Walsh gets on the foul one off. Full count now, no outs, top of the fifth inning. Ball four in the dirt. That'll put a man on first. Up to bat, number 20. Kevin Davis. Kevin Davis, the right fielder. The Davis brothers. Struck out his first at bat. Got out his second at bat. I believe it was a pop up, maybe. Kevin tries picking off uh, Alex. Keep him close on base. Let's keep this a one one run game. One run may be the factor in this game. Oh, there goes Vern scooping another. Does a very good job protecting the plate. Counts. 2-0. There goes the runner off for second. Firm with the throw. It's a little late. <coughs> Alex steals. Steals second. Now it's a man on second. No outs. Runner in scoring position. Strike across the plate. Counts now one and two. Ball, Ball low. Gets away from Vern. Runner advances to third. That's trouble for Sterling. Yeah, man on third now. No outs. Cannot be good. No, it is not. Infield comes in now for the play at home. <laughs> Paints the outside corner. Counts two and two. Oh. Low, well, well. I don't know about that one. I thought that was a cross. I think these umps might be from Hadfield. I don't know. I got three. Mr. K runs out, hands the umpire a few balls. Vern signaling out some plays there. Yeah, when there's a man on first and third, third, a couple different scenarios you can do. No outs. I'm sure uh, Kevin Davis, man on first, may try to get caught in a rundown, try to get the runner in from third. There is. There's the good runner. They'll just let him go. Man on second and third now, no outs. Let's try to work our way out of this inning. 
Chris Davis is up. Struck out twice in the game so far. Let's make it three. I agree. No outs. Top of the fifth. Had field up one nothing. Strike one. Counts now one and one. Kev's doing a very nice job of keeping the ball low. Yes, he is. Oh, he went around. Yep. That's strike two. Good curveball. Rather have the ball low than up in the zone. Counts one and two. Oh, there you go. Walsh gets his sixth strikeout of the day, and that's Chris Davis's third strikeout. It's a big out right there. I don't feel coach might want to pull him out of the game. Brings up number 22, the pitcher of today's game, John Walter. Reached on balls his first time of a bat. Grounded out his second time. It's the first strike across there. 0-1 oh, count, one out, top of the fifth. Oh, a little high. It's all right. The batter feeling it a little bit. I'd like to see Walsh get out of this inning. That'd be very good. Two men on. Strike two. Counts one and two now. One out. John Walter at the plate. Get this out right here. The infielders can move back again for a play at first instead of home. Oh, oh, in the dirt. dirt. Bounce off the umpire. Players stay where they are. Vern was very quick with that. It's a good thing the ump was there. It bounced right off him instead of Vern. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you ump. <laughs> Saving a couple runs there. 2-2 two, two to count now. John Walter. Kevin look at finish him off right here. Oh, right. Oh, right up the middle. That's going to score two. Two three runs. Nothing. Two runs come across. That's 3 nothing now. Had to feel Bulldogs on top. Comes to bring up, replay that. Ground ball right up the middle. Infield was, infield was in, so there was... It's pretty hard for them to make a play. You got it now, number 25, Tom Gorgano. He's up to bat. Hadfield uh, sent in a courtesy runner for the pitcher. Number 36, Brian Donovan. Pop straight up. Looks like that's in play. Oh. Applegate just missed it. Count now 0 1, number 25. One out, top of the fifth. Again, 3 0 Haddonfield. This game is very important for Sterling. It's a must win. These last two. Ball's ripped into the outfield. Baldino might be under it. Very nice catch. Center fielder. Mike Baldino. He's got some speed out there. Oh, yeah. He's hitting the gap. I thought that was going to fall. But good thing Mike got over there. Yeah, Mike can cover a lot of ground out there. So comes the replay of that. No, a nice swing on it. Baldino running over there real hard. Makes the catch. Very nice work. Yeah. Two outs now, top of the fifth. Man on first, and he's going. Ball in the dirt. Oh, that was a very nice throw, but since the ball was in the dirt, it took a little time for Vern to get that out. If it was a, right across the plate, he would have got him. 
by two steps, I'll say. Now we'll have number 26, Ryan Gooden. Swings through that. Counts one on one. Gooden is 0 for 1 today with a walk. Ball in the dirt again. Two and one. Got the ball in the dirt. Oh, runner's Runner going to off. third. He's got a chance here. Oh, safe. Throw was a little off there. Don't worry about that guy at third. Let's just get this out. Two outs. I agree. Three one count now to Gooden. Or good win. Sorry about that. A little outside there. Man on first and third now. Can make a play at second or first. It's Walsh's sixth walk of the game. Walsh has six walks and six strikeouts. Vernon Leeds handing out the symbols to his teammates. Now, pick off. Now up is uh, Andrew Spinelli, who knocked across the first ru first run of the game with an uh, RBI double. Uh, you shouldn't worry about the runner here. Yeah, just I was just about to say, yeah, no time to worry about the runner. Let's go after the batter. Get the get last out of this inning. Exactly. Get out of this inning. Go work at the plate. Ball high. One and no. Oh, nice catch. Bob Abigail with good, good hands. Last. Now we have up uh, Pat McElroy. McElroy struck out his first at bat. Pat having a great season this year. Bat 500. Nah, hey. 370. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. On base percentage, 540. <laughs> oh, one pitch. Ball's low in the dirt. No, nah, that was a strike. Oh, was it really? Yes. My eyes Unfortunately. Are, my eyes are deceiving me. Counts 0 and 2. Time to protect right here. Curveball in the dirt. Sorry about that. This is Ryan McElroy. I think I kept saying Pat. You did say Pat. They both look alike. It's easily confused. Like we said earlier, his pitch popped up. Oh, he fell. Oh. Nice stopping play by the right fielder. Like second base is a little clumsy there. <laughs> All about communication with them type of, them kind of plays. Looks like they communicated very well on that one. Brings up Kevin Walsh, the pitcher in today's game. See if he can help his cause, because he don't want the L. Walsh has six strikeouts, but six walks in this game. Let up three runs. He's one for one, though, at the plate. Looking to go two for two. Curveball in there for a ball. Counts now one and one. <coughs> it was a good eye by Walsh. 
curveball looks very hittable. Oh, yes. Slow pitcher. Five must say. Ball a little outside. Counts now. Two and one. Two and one pitch right here. Swings through it. It's hard to change from a fast pitcher to a slower pitcher. Looks like Stone's struggling a little bit with that right here. Counts 22. Ooh. Ball high. Good eye by Kevin Walsh. He didn't follow through at all with that curveball. Looks no. like he just threw it over. A little lollipop. This isn't softball, this is baseball. Oh. Walsh would hit. Right center. Need to communicate. There you go. Center fielder grabs it. It's two down in the inning, bottom of the fifth. Brings up leadoff batter Mike Baldino. Mike Baldino's 0 1 today with a walk. His last is bat. Baldino looking to get on base here. Lefty against lefty action. Counts now 1 and 0. <laughs> Little inside there, 2 0 count. It was a good eye by Baldino. Let's try to work this pitcher here, make him throw a strike, get some base on us. I wouldn't swing till the first strikes across the plate. There you go, he's got it. Counts now two and one, two outs. Mike Coin on deck. Stone trails by three, three nothing. Oh, fouled straight back. Counts now two and two. Well, you know, looking to stay alive. Has a swing at anything close. Triple on the right field right here. Let's go. Curveball gets him. Here's Kenny Myers. The first pitch. A little high ball one. This is uh, number four, Mike Hagner up. Hagner is 0 for 2 on the day. Hopefully we make him go 0 and 3. Counts 2-0. Well. In the center field, Baldino looks like he's under it. Calls off Mike Coyne, and he's got it. It's one out in the inning. Nice quick out for Ken Myers. Get him in a nice rhythm. This brings up number 12, Tim Donalon. Can't pronounce his name. It's very odd and peculiar. Ball one, low. Do what we got, got to do right here, get our three outs, and got the number two hitter for Sterling. Coming up. Need to manufacture some runs. Yes. There we go. Strike one. Counts now one and one. One out. Top of the six. Hannafield leads Sterling. Three nothing. Ball in the dirt. Ball two. Counts two and one to Tim. Tim is the DH in today's game. Ball three. Ball three, a little high, counts three and one. Paints the inside corner there. Works it back to a full count. 
Kenny looking to get this guy. Let's check him out. 3-2 pitch. Popped, Popped it up. up. And that's out of play, I think. Yep. Look at Kenny Myers. Fern leads in the background. Mike Baldino right there. Pitch. It's ball four, low in the dirt. It's Myers' first walk in the game. Sterling looking to turn two here. Kenny working from the stretch now. First pitch is the ball. Popped up. That might be in the fans. Oh, very close. Almost hit the bleachers. Got a lot of people here today for a big game between Bulldogs and the Sterling Knights. Fighting for that division. We want those jackets. Oh, yes. I feel for announcing this game, we should get jackets if we win. Oh, hell yeah. Alex Ost by up the bat. Launches at the side at another one. Fouls it off in the same exact place. Pitch is now counting is now one and two with one out. Man on first. Alex Ost by up the bat. He's won one for two in today's game. The base on ball. About to be oh. one and three. One for three. Popped up. Hopefully they can get this. Oh. Ugh. A hard play for Bob Applegate there. Has to chase that all the way down. Nice hustle, though. That's got to be the outfielder's ball right there. Eh. He's got to hustle over. He doesn't have to run backwards like Applegate and look uh, behind for the ball. Outfielder can just run up. It's an easier play. Counts now one and two to Alex. Oh. Ball high. Counts 22. Still a man on the first. One out, top of the sixth. Sterling's trailing 3 nothing. Man might try to steal here. He tried on the pop-up last time. A oh. little harder to steal off a left-handed pitcher. Yes, it is. Strike three there. It's Myers' first strike out in the game. Brings up number 20, Kevin Davis, playing in right field. Kenny checks off the guy at first. Pitches. Oh. Swinging bunt. Burns we'll got it. He's out. Oh. But the umpire needs seven, oh my God. seven layers of glass. Yes. Looks like Vern had that ball there by half a step. I don't know what I don't know what he's looking at. Here comes a replay of that. We'll check it out right here. Ball in the glove. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I guess he was safe. Ty goes to the runner. Here we are now. Brings up number 27, Chris Davis. Ball in the dirt. Counts now 1-0. Two outs in the inning, two men on. Chris Davis has struck out three times in this game. Hopefully, strike out four. Oh, oh. Foul tips it off of Burns' face mask. 
Fern shakes that off. Tough kid. Counts one and one. Here's the pitch. Oh, that went in fair. Scores the wrong one. Now I'm in on second and third. Four nothing. Had him feel the lead, Sterling. Here's the replay of that action. Rips it down the third baseline. Just gets past the diving Lou Camissa. Hey, Runner got the second on the little wild throw there. This brings up third baseman now, ex pitcher, John Walter. Ken gets the first strike across. A little high. Counts one and one. A little bit. Haddonfield starting pitcher is doing very good today. Yeah. Just got pulled in the last inning, though. Maybe get some rest. Colin, Colin told me he's their ace. So uh, that playoff game Friday, may try to give him some rest now. Do good in the playoffs. Yeah, they got Audubon on Friday. That should be a tough game. Yeah. Counts now two and two. Two outs. Top of the sixth inning. Ooh. Ball a little high. Just a little high. Full count now, two outs. Runners will be moving. There we go. Strike three now. We got the pinstripe. I like the pinstripe. I'm all for it. I got the vest. Looking sharp out there. Sterling's just doing things backwards these days. Ball one. Takes first pitch ball. It's a good eye by him. Ball two. Hey, two one, we say now. Sterling's had a good amount of opportunities. I think three innings they had a bunch of people on base, just couldn't get them across. Stupid errors, people getting thrown out. Mental mistakes, that's, that's killing us today. Killed us yesterday, it's killing us today. Counts now three and oh. Take a pitch. There you go. Man on there you first. Go. It's a way to get something started. And JV stepping in there, getting on base. That'll bring up Bob Applegate, leading the team with six home runs. Applegate today, though, has two strikeouts. Looking to flip that around and do something. Got a left handed pitcher. You can see the ball very clearly. There oh, you there you go. Oh, it's That's right to the right field. Yep. That'll, be a, that'll be one out. That'll bring up Pat McElroy. That's what I learned. Bob loves those first pitches. Yes. Something you got to learn. Take that pitch. Let him throw you a strike. Brings up Pat McElroy today. One for one with a base knock. Oh. Back safely. JV gets back there. Thinks just because he has a JV uniform, he don't know how to run bases. He's trying to pick on him. I hope he steals one. That's another ball. That's now five straight balls that the pitcher is throwing. I'd, I'd take a pitch till he throws a strike. Oh. 
six straight balls. Play smart baseball here. He's got to do something. Down by four, bottom of the six. Got to make something happen. Get a little rally on. Ball three. Looks like his control's not there. He's just missing. He's pretty close, but a miss is a miss. Up on deck is Luca Missa. There you go. Let's see what Luca Missa can do here. Two walks this thing. Looks like the coach is coming out to talk to his pitcher. Hopefully Lou uh, takes his time up there. Batter's been throwing, uh, I mean, pitcher's been throwing all balls. Play off the first pitch. He's going to get one. Eight straight balls. Lou today is uh, one for two already with a double. A big, oh, single. Sorry about that. A big shot over the right fielder's head. He flied out again to the right fielder. Lou's looking to make something happen here. Takes that pitch. Lou's smart. He noticed the pitcher's not throwing strikes. Wait till he throws one. Pitcher this inning has thrown 10 pitches and nine of them for balls. Make that 10. Looks like his control's not there. Coach is getting a little frustrated on the Haddonfield side. That's what I like to see. Pitcher's uh, Nick Kavanaugh today. He's getting, he's getting a little frustrated himself, Ed. Yeah. Uh, there he goes. That's the first strike. Now Lou's ready. Lou's ready to tank his pitch. I'd still take another ball. I'd, I'd look for a walk in this situation. Get bases loaded? Yes. Oh, Lou swings. They're looking. Oh, Lou's, Lou's going to beat fast. it out. Yeah, Lou's He's a safe. Fast kid. Bases loaded, one out. Let's see what we can do here. TJ Myers up the plate. TJ's got a double today. Looking to maybe get another one. It's a big situation here. In the year TJ has 12 RBIs. Looking to get a few more right here. To make it 16. I agree. <laughs> Only one can hope. Only takes one pitch. <laughs> it takes four to walk a run in though, and I think that might happen. <laughs> Goes, gets the strike across. Pits are working from the wind up. No need to work from the stretch with bases loaded. With that, I would get a big lead off third. End. Yeah. I would get a big lead. Definitely. Ooh, strike two. Look a little low there. TJ's got to be the hitter up here with one out. One and two count. Got to stay alive somehow. Day for first, out at second. Looks like we got a little argument. Haddonfield coach came sprinting out of the dugout. We'll take a... Haddonfield coach wants to umpire the... Uh, Try to make the call, see if he was out. I, th I thought he was. I thought he was safe. Thought he was too. I thought he was out to be honest, but I, I saw his foot come off the bag. Thought it came off a little early. Well, that'll score a run nonetheless. Yes. Four to one now. Had him feel leads. He's throwing down by four with Vern leads up the bat.
Vern takes the first pitch for a ball. Vern on the day is 0 for 1 with the strikeout and the pop out, I believe. He's only batted once in the sixth inning? He's batted twice. Oh, sorry about that. He's <laughs> 0 for 2. Oh, the dirt. pass ball. There you go. 4 to the, 2 Sterling. That Four big, Sterling that big backstop at Sterling High School. Haddonfield catcher just can't get in front of it. Can help you, can kill you. Counts two now. What's the runner in scoring position at second base? Scores 4 2. Sterling. Sterling has been struggling all day with runners in scoring position. Let's see if we can capitalize right here. Looks like Haddonfield's helping us out a little bit this inning. I think we need to help ourselves out right here. Burton Leeds get a nice base knock, score a run. Takes the first strike. Counts now 2-1, two, two outs. I would try to steal third right here. I believe that's McElroy on second. He's got the speed. Yeah. Soccer players. Pretty fast. Swings at the pitch. Got to be smarter than that. I believe that would would have been a ball ball four. It's full count now, Vern. Got to be a hitter up there. Full count pitch. Runner takes off. Uh, that, that might fall. That, that might fall in. Uh, uh, nope. He's out. That's the end of the sixth inning. We'll be back in the seventh. Sterling puts up two runs, not bad. Brings up number 25, Tom Gorgano. Quick strike. <laughs> Gorgano's 0 for 2 today with the base on balls. Oh. Curveball tries to get that across. That's a ball, though. A little high. Can you repeat that? The run Myers let up could be uh, very crucial to this game. It would be uh, just a one run game, but now it's 4 2. Hadfield's up by 2. 2 1 pitch, swings on it. Luke Messer with the play. Fields it cleanly. Ah. Overthrows him. Bunner will now go to second. And it'll stay there. Not the way you want to start off the seventh inning after you have Not a good inning like that. That hurts him bad. Mental mistakes. There it is. You calm yourself down. Throw the ball. Got number four, 48 coming in now. Alex Reinicker. It's a pinch run. Pinch run for the catcher. Tom Gorgano. Here's now number 26, Ryan Goodwin. Kenny from the stretch. Strike one on the corner. Oh, one count now. Comes the 0 1 pitch. Oh. Pops it up. Left field. Mike Coin there. Pulls it in. It's one out. Man on second. Here's a replay of uh, Luca Messer's error. Fields it cleanly, but uh, just a little high on the yeah. throw. Would have had the runner, too. A little anxious to get it there. Happens to the best of us. And we're back. Ah, 
That ball. They're saying he still had it. Oh, no. That ball eight blew up. Took yeah. a good bounce on him. Rough inning for Luca Messi here. Got to keep his head. There's one out now. Two men on. First and second. Brings up number four, Mike Hagner. Sterling looking to turn two, put this, put this top of the seventh away, see what we can do in the bottom of the seventh. Fouls out of play. One strike. <laughs> Sterling High School, if they, lo if they uh, lose this game, they will be out of contention for the conference title. It, they're contending between Haddonfield Bulldogs, who, are, who we are losing to right now, and Haddon Height Garnets. Sterling needs to win this game. He's come up big right here. Strike two there to Hagner. Counts one and two. Don't give him anything really to hit right here. A little high cheese. Pops it up, right field. First baseman's have has it. Oh. oh my goodness. Go to second. You gotta make the call. Coming out. Infield fly rolling effect right here. They're both, the, the, the guy at, at first is supposed to be out, and the guy at second. That's Inning's dope. over, it's done. Haddonfield, uh, Coach Hill, crybaby today, whining about every call that's going on. That'll do it for the inning. Strong, still trying 4 to 2. Justin Rigoberna. Ah, uh, I don't know if I like this. He's putting up JV players. And Varsity player spots, bottom of the seventh, down by two, Crucial boring game. game. I don't know if I like this call. I mean, heck, not coming at the coaches, but I would like to see a victory today. I, I don't think it's it's a smart call. Ball one. Looks like we got a JV batter on deck, too. That'll be a third JV batter in this game. I don't know. It's just me, uh, I'd, I'd go for the W. To me, it looks like we're laying down and accepting defeat. I don't like that. Our varsity players are just making too many mistakes. That's why why Hoffman needed to change. Yep. Counts now 2 and L. Pitcher looks like still off rhythm. Perfect opportunity to generate these two runs. Going to extra innings. Another ball in the dirt. 3 and L. Hey, yo. Let's go, kid. Be smart. Come on. Last inning, pitcher couldn't get anything across the plate. Through what, what was it, 13 pitches, 12 balls? Something like that. Walked a few batters. He basically let a couple runs come in. He let one on a wild pitch. So let's see what happens this inning. Counts now 3 0. Takes the first strike. Counts 3 and 1 to Justin. Trying to get a base knock here. Take another pitch. Wait till it's full count to swing away. It's good. That's a good observation. Good men on. Let's go. Let's go, John. There you go. Now he's got to be a hitter. Now it's time to protect. Let's go, John. Let's go, kid. It's crunch time, Morella. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. JB Killer. Doing better than some of the varsity players today. This brings up number 25, another JV player. I do not have his name. Sorry about that. It's Colin Gallon's old number. Better uh, repre represent that pretty well. He's got to fill his shoes. Yes, he does. Big shoes to fill. This man on first, no outs here. Bottom of the seven. Strike one, number 25. Yeah. Oh. Second pitch.
pitch popped off the first base, out of play. He's under it, he's got it. That's one away here in the bottom of the seventh. Brings up Mikey Baldino. Top of the order. One it's, out. Still is, got a chance here, Chris. Still got a chance. It's a big time right here. I want to see Baldino come away with a hit. Something big. He's got to do something. Baldino does have two home runs in the year. I mean, he's got it in him. You never know. Got it in him. For today, Baldino has a. Uh, he's only. He's a uh, 0 for 1. He's got two base on balls. And then struck out his first at bat. <laughs> Mike Coyne on deck. Well, Dino, the senior on this team, you know he doesn't want to lose. Ball in the dirt. Catcher all over it, though. Ball inside. Pitches are close. Pitchers working hard out there is a little dangerous. From the stretch. Ball outside. Can't seem to buy it, sure. Counts now three and now. If I was Baldino, I'd just sit there with the bat on my shoulders with not even not even a chance to swing right here. Let him pitch a strike. Let him, let him pitch two. It's been wild all day. There you go. That's two men on here. It's a very important inning here. Bottom of the seventh. Strong trailing by two. That'll bring up Mike Coyne on deck. Bob Applegate. Coach comes out to the mound, might be making a pitching change, who knows, might just be talking about it. Whole infield gathering up there. Haddonfield does have someone warming up in the little, I don't know what you want to call that, a little pitching area we got over there. Look, something. Talking about what color they're gonna paint their nails tonight. Yeah. Uh, shot of the bullpen right there. You got someone warming up. Can't really tell the number. I think that's number number nine. So lefty. Hey, Mike, what you say, Corey? Hey, one, three, hey, Mike. Number nine is Ben Uden. I believe he already pinch ran today for someone. So, Mikey Coin, bad right now. Mike Coin's over over two on the day. Take that ball high. Want to know? After last night's loss, come back and win today. Very, uh, very good for the Spirits of Sterling High School's base baseball team. It's ball two there. Two and another count. Mike Coyne. Only one out, two men on, first and second. Get these bases loaded, we'll run out. We got a real shot here, Chris. We got some speed on the bases, too. Put a ball in play. I don't think they're going to be able to turn two. It's a ball high, 3 0. A little high there, huh? We cannot run into any outs right now. We cannot afford it like last inning. Not, not can't, can't afford getting picked off, getting hey, one, three. thrown out, trying to steal a base. Just can't happen. Mental mistakes. There we go. It's the first strike. Counts now 3-1. and one. Mike Coyne's got to be a hitter right now. Got Bob Applegate on deck. It's got to be perfect for Mike Coyne. Got to be perfect. It's the only pitch I would swing at right here. There you go. Good eye. Base is loaded now. This inning will decide it for Sterling High School. Nice shot at Bob Applegate right there. Looking confident. Likes that first pitch. 
Get in here. Get in here. It's one out in the inning. We scored a run now, 4-3. Four, 4-3. Three. Four, three. I mean, Applegate's got to lay off that first pitch. I mean, he got he got a run across, bud. It's an RBI. I, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Got to see what the pitcher's about first. Brings up Pat McElroy. It's one for one with two walks in this game. He's going to deliver here. Oh, ball high. I would like to see one get away from the pitcher. Just throwing trails 4-3 by one run. Bottom of the seventh, two outs. It's the last chance for Sterling High School to do something big. Luca Missile on deck. You no, know he wants a shot. Ball two. Two now. The first strike right there, 2 1 count. Pat McElroy. Pat looking to be a hitter here, get a little base knock. 2 1 pitch. Oh, a little high there. Pat using his size to the advantage. 3 1 count now. Hopefully, you can draw a walk. Base is loaded for Luca Misses, throwing down one run. Bottom of the seventh. Hopefully, Luca Misses can make up for the errors he made. Which there I think you he will. There we go. Ball four. Base is loaded. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. <laughs> It's something you always dream of. Bases loaded, two outs. Coming up big, win the game. Luke Miss has got it in him. He's got a hit already today. I'd love to see him get another one right here. Oh, it's a ball a little inside. If I was Lou, I'd wait till I get my first strike, definitely. Don't see. Pressure is more on the pitcher. Third strikes. Get out of this win inning. There you go. Two, two balls. Walk his last batter. He's probably pretty nervous. He was definitely making the right choices right here. Making the pitcher pitch. Feeling him out. Catcher called time. Talking over with the pitcher. Who's gonna? Lou doesn't want it. Doesn't want to swing the bat and get out. He's gonna take a few pitches here. See what the pitcher can do. There you go. 3-0 now. 3-0. Lou can miss it. Take a couple pitches right here. pitch and it's about to be a tie ball game yeah there we go all tied up in the bottom of the seventh inning this inning started off with a JV killer getting a base knock and then basically throwing players getting walked around well there's the pitcher right there a little nervous TJ Myers up the bat I mean hey walk in the winning run that'd be wonderful right here Haddonfield hit fans go home crying. I love it. This whole thing started with the JV players coming through. Good TJ Myers now. 0 1 count. It's a 1 1 count now. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh game is all tied up. Anticipation is building. Yes, it is. Four to four with the division on the line. Oh, that's out of, right. play. out of play. No one's going to catch up to that one. Time to protect. <laughs> Counts one and two. Thank you. 
Bases loaded. TJ Myers up the plate. One and two count. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. The scores all tied up. Oh, staying alive. That's what you like to see. He's protected. Yo, ball two counts two and two. Very good at bat right now. Yes, it is. That's what I like to say. All these innings making mental errors. We're being very smart this inning. Ball three. Full count now. Ball here. Walks in the winning run. Should be perfect to come back in this game after yesterday's heartbreak loss in the last inning. Sterling do a complete 180. Flip the script on these guys. That's it. Game's over. That's the game. Sterling High School just won. Give me five to four. Haddonfield just lost the division, and I will applaud to that one. As long as Haddonfield doesn't win, I'm happy. Hell of a game to announce with you, Chris. Yes, it's it been was. A freaking pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the final. Sterling wins the game 5 4 in the thrilling fanatic. Set bottom of the seventh inning.